Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got 99 Julio Jones and Golden Ticket Clowny on the team and in case you guys did not see the video this morning go ahead and check it out go drop a like in that video crazy support thank you guys so so much for that but check it out this morning if you want to see all the eggs it seems like I ran a poll over on Twitter for about 75% of people eggs were a W I think they were a big W I didn't think they'd be good they turned out to be pretty solid, pretty solid, especially like the smaller ones. It seems like the medium ones, the large ones, like it just kind of comes down to what you actually pull out of them. But if you did get like an ultimate egg or a grand egg, by now the market's already on the uptrend again. So I would still hold on, but the market only crashed for like 10, 15 minutes as expected to. It's on the uptrend. You probably made some decent profit. Definitely were a lot better than I think everybody expected. Now, I do want to give a shout out to DJ Chapman for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the mid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. Now, first up, happy Easter. I don't know if I said that this morning. I know I commented on that video, but happy Easter. Hopefully, you guys have a great day today. We are going to be doing a double gameplay. Still no card art yet on Julio and also on Jadavion Clowney, but... They also released the info on Golden Ticket. So I'm going to go over that in this video. Probably going to be a little bit of a longer video. We have Pack and Play later tonight as well. And I didn't have time to like fit four videos in today. I have stuff to do my family today. So combining them into one video, let's get into it. So let's go over the Golden Ticket promo info. This is probably going to be a little bit longer video because I obviously had to go over the Golden Ticket info with you guys, but also want to do a gameplay, so just have to put these two videos together. And as you guys can see, Golden Ticket program details. So players will be able to participate in the Madden 21 Golden Ticket promo by logging into Madden Ultimate Team to receive three Golden Ticket opportunities. Each Golden Opportunity is a pack which contains either a coin quick sale or a chance at a Golden ticket collectible the dates and times that you will need to log into madden ultimate team for a chance to go into collectible are below so wednesday april 7th from 7 to 9 p.m eastern time and then friday april 9th from 9 to 11 p.m eastern time each day wednesday and friday we will be giving out 10 golden ticket collectibles for a total of 20 golden tickets for the entire program so there's gonna be 20 golden tickets unlike last year this year players on all platforms will have a chance to pull for a golden ticket collectible so every single platform our teams will monitor who receives a golden ticket our goal is to reach out to all golden ticket winners through email by friday april 16th to get their info about the golden ticket player they would like to create please make sure to update your madden rewards email address as this will be the way we will be reaching out to players and here is exactly the rules for exactly what you can do so golden ticket players must be built off a base player item that has already been released in the game so it has to be a player already in the game uh cannot be players who have retired during the 2020 season so like drew Brees can't be one i think greg olson also retired and whatever other players also retired anyone that got like career tribute or anybody overall that retired philip rivers you can't choose any of those guys you can choose legends but not people who retired Golden Ticket players cannot use icons from the Superstar KO mode. Uh, they will get a physical chemistry slot. Golden Ticket players get a team chem. The team chemistry will operate the same way it does for the veterans program that the team chemistry is available will only be those that the player played for in the NFL in a regular season game so not gonna be every single team cam just the team they actually played for they will get a secondary position chemistry slot golden ticket players will be standalone player items and will not go into power-ups per usual uh winners get to choose which tier three buckets they want available on their golden ticket player the only restriction is it must be from an archetype from that position so with a quarterback like mike vick you could have field general strong arm improviser and scrambler they will also get a fifth ability slot which to be honest like the ability slots this year they don't have as much value to them because like you're not going to use all five ability slots in a player more than likely unless you want to use 12 ap on a qb whatever you're just not going to do it the players still need to hit thresholds in order to get their abilities so like tom brady uh to be difficult to get the speed needed for escape artists physical ratings will be handled by the mutt team so you guys cannot choose like speed 
acceleration, that stuff. But you can choose three skill ratings you'll want to see boosted. GT players will not be a limited time item. They will be in packs the remainder of the year with an increased opportunity to pull them the first 48 hours. They are in packs. Winners get to choose card art from any program release except card art from the Legend LT and Ultimate Legend Career Edition interesting uh winners can choose the archetype for ability buckets and winners have 10 days from being contacted to finish designing their golden ticket if a winner is unable to finish designing their gt player they will forfeit this opportunity the madden ultimate team reserves the right to refuse any gt selection please note that gt player creation will be based on a first come first serve basis for gt winners this means that whoever contacts us first is guaranteed to get their choice of a player but this may not hold true the farther along you go in the process there will be no duplicate gold and ticket players on the same side of the ball so you can't both go with like mike vick but i guess that means if you want to go with like calvin johnson wide receiver and then somebody else does calvin johnson free safety you can do that depending on how quickly we release golden ticket player information after contacting winners we are looking to release two to three golden ticket players every friday so that is all the golden ticket promo info let me know down below what you guys think about it i'm really excited really really excited but let's go over the players for today's gameplay we have julio jones got 99 speed he's got 99 catching 99 jumping 98 catch grabbing 98 spec catch 99 short 99 medium 94 deep route running also 98 acceleration he's got 92 change direction 94 juke move 95 carrying i love this julio card 95 break tackle i mean he just looks studly now we are going with double me and route technician for his abilities card's crazy Oh, Julio Jones, absolute stud. Javon Clowney, this card is crazy too. Now, you guys can see by his abilities, he's got Power Rusher times two, Run Stopper times two, and Pass Coverage. So if you want to put a bunch of crazy abilities on him, you can. He's got 95 Speed, 98 Acceleration, 92 Strength, 98 Block Shed, 99 Power Move, and Finesse Move, and he's got a 98 Hit Power. This card is crazy for a golden ticket. Now, we're not using X Factor because it's kind of worthless on, like, an outside linebacker or defensive end. The odds of getting three sacks, very unlikely. But you guys can see the abilities that he actually gets. He gets a lot of different ones. Selfless, Avalanche, whatever you guys want. Zone Hawk. Now, if you want to see what abilities he does get, though, as I said, this is a, a golden ticket. So, like, he has different archetypes. For his different slots so in this one here you know edge threat is 3 ap edge threat elite is 4 ap you guys can see all the abilities that he gets on to the second one it looks like this one is the same thing and you can see like inside stuff 2 ap right there on to the third one though you guys can see over here edge threat again 3 ap el toro right there and then take a look at his run stuff once like no outsiders 1 ap enforcer only 1 ap on him so if you want to put enforcer on him you can has deflator right there now this tier i put edge threat because you know it's 3 ap is what it is as i said if you want to put like a bunch of crazy abilities on them you definitely can go ahead and do so and then the final one over here this one gets like lurker uh he even gets film study 7 ap pretty wild i don't know why you put that on him but you can and by the way in case you guys are wondering he does get a bunch of different secondary positions and his team cams let's get in the gameplay Looking to take your game in Madden 21 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips. Get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes for Madden pros. Use code Zerk for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. That's my opponent's top three. He's got Lamar, Sam Mills, and Des Bryant. My top three with Julio. So right off the bat, of course, we are going to try to go deep to Julio Jones. Now, I will mix in the run a little bit and, of course, pass to other people because I just don't want someone straight up targeting Julio all game and then double coveraging him. But that first pass there, honestly, if I waited a second, I think Julio would have been open. So I'm going to try it again. And, oh, he wasn't open that time. All right, third and 17 coming up. Not exactly the uh, best way to start off a game, but let's see if we can keep it up here third and 17 and we're gonna have x open for the first down not julio but marvin harrison now of course we definitely want to take advantage of the speed that julio does have because i mean this is a 99 speed julio jones card you know he's gonna be quick as right there on the cut great throw to be honest the timing on that was a little bit off because julio like stopped for some reason right before he cut so that was just uh, a little bit weird but over the middle here good catch and honestly i don't know why i'm doing this but we're doing an end around and I hope that this works. And around to Julio. Decent block on the outside. That that didn't work at all. All right, third and nine, and Julio is actually out of the game after that one. So we're going to have to throw to somebody else here for sure. As, I mean, Randy Moss, wide open there. So we took a playoff, but he's back in the game here. Let's see if my opponent is going to use her on it. And he didn't. 
Julio Jones wide open. All right, so we're already up 7-0. Julio Jones just was wide open. I think he actually even usered on the corner there, but he didn't move. So definitely a big mistake by him, and he does have Lamar. So I'm going to QB contain on this play just to see... If he tries to scramble, because if he does scramble, it's going to be a sack, hopefully for Clowney, and Clowney's almost there. He's in the contain, and is that a sack? No, it doesn't count as a sack. So it didn't count as a sack there, but almost was a sack, third and three. He's motioning over Dion. I'm scared to, like, like anything underneath, basically. I'm going to have to slant here. That's not, oh, he's got Waller so wide open, and I just realized that I think he has, like, an all Ravens offense i don't know about his defense i didn't pay attention but i just noticed that on offense looks like all ravens of course now barry sanders has checked into the game but second and six he's running a toss play get out there great tackle revis absolutely beautiful tackle there by darrell revis as i'm gonna actually look out across the middle here i'm gonna look out for darren waller on this play because i think he might try to go back to him and yep he's trying that same exact play i'm there for waller but no one's on Dion. all right third and three is it a run? He's got Barry Sanders out here, too. He's got Barry and Mark Ingram. I just noticed that. Looks like he is passing the ball. Not going to be open underneath. We got some pressure on him, though. He's throwing it back corner of the end zone, and it's incomplete. I honestly thought that I'd be able to jump up there and get the interception with Isaiah Simmons, but I guess it was, like, a pretty inaccurate throw right there. And I'm pretty sure Clowney even disengaged off the right tackle and caused a little bit of mayhem there. So we've got a minute and 22 seconds here to try to get down the field as Waller versus Dion. And Waller just got crazy separation there. So Waller got some crazy separation right there. And also we're going to have Julio open easy. All right, so we're at the 47 and this should definitely, oh, it's actually not open with Julio. We're going to have X open across the field, but Waller, he came back to actually use around that. And I thought Waller would get open there. All right, so we've only got 13 seconds left here. Just have to quick fire it down the seams and no, we're not going to be able to spike this. Ah, terrible time management. Had some terrible time management there at the end of the first half as looks like he's probably looking to take a deep shot here we got some pressure and he has to throw it away second down coming up here and play action we got some pressure lt with the sack lawrence taylor with the sack there third and 21 though and i'm looking out for that and he caught that are you kidding me he really just threw that into triple coverage and he caught it how literally how and i'm there with isaiah simmons too to try to get the pick and i just nothing third and 21 Throw it in a triple coverage. Guaranteed catch, I guess. Second and six. He's motioning over Dion, so I think I know the exact play this is about to be. I'm going to come back down, though. Look out for Dion Sanders. Oh, my God. Why are you not playing that, Derwin? And it just bounced off his head. I really need Clowney to show up here. I need to get a sack or something out of Clowney, as I might... I might actually blitz on this. No, I'm not going to blitz on him. Look out for Dion, and we almost got pressure on him and again. Why are you not playing it, Barry? Barry is literally supposed to play that route. Like, I put him in the perfect position to play it, and he just didn't, as he might be looking to go Darren Waller again, but it's not going to be open this time. Got some pressure on him, and that's going to be incomplete. All right, so he's coming out in a little bit different formation here. Let's see what he's trying to go to. Is he trying to go to Darren Waller? He loves to throw to Darren Waller here, so I got to look out for, like, something on the inside, maybe. Is he going to, like, bounce to the out? Is this, like, verticals or something? What's he running? Okay, so it looks like a streak there. We got some pressure. Clowney caused him to throw that ball. Jadavion Clowney was going to have a sack, and he had to throw it. Davion Clowney with potentially the biggest play of the game right there with the pressure, forcing my opponent to throw that as I tried to run an RPO to get the ball to, to uh, Julio, but it was covered. All right, second and seven. I'm looking to go deep to Julio if it's open. If not, we're going to take the underneath. Oh, we're going to have Julio. Julio is definitely going to be open way down the field. Julio Jones, absolutely nobody even close to him. 80-yard TD. All right, so Jadavion Clowney with possibly the biggest play of the game, followed up by Julio Jones with the biggest play of the game. You guys decide which one was more important, the 80-yard TD there, or was it actually Jadavion Clowney's play because he kind of... Are you, are you kidding me? How does Barry Sanders break free there? The stuff that has happened to me in this game is crazy with like the third and 21 triple coverage catch. And then that, I don't, I don't even know what to say about that one as I'm looking out underneath here. Don't really see much open. He's throwing in complete pass. But you guys, let me know which one was better. Was it actually Jadavion Clowney getting, basically causing the turnover there or Julio Jones 
capitalizing. Second and 13 coming up though, we may get the flats open and actually Julio over the middle, great catch. Right now we are 13 for 14 with Drew Brees. So we are definitely dotting up here. Julio Jones, easy catch right there. Really the only thing that we can't afford to happen here is if we somehow end up throwing a pick or something or just any turnover, that would be the absolute worst thing possible right now. So Got to be careful with the ball here. I'm going to take off with Drew Brees, and we're going to slide down. Big time play there with Brees, and I think it's funny how I said we want to make sure that we're just careful with the ball, and then I try to outrun him with Drew Brees. All right, down to the 39-yard line, second and 10. Are we going to get Julio? Nah, uh, I'm going to try it. Julio, can you get that catch? Julio Jones again. Big time catches from Julio Jones, man. Definitely some big time catches. Down to the 16, we might get him here. Julio once again, and another TD. So the thing is with this Julio Jones card, guys, is Julio's card is, of course, really tall as we get the interception right there with Eric Berry. And we're gonna take this one all the way back to the house. Of course, Julio is six foot three, I believe. He also is a route runner, so he does get route technician for cheaper. He's got 99 speed, and you can get him the 99 short and 99 medium. So like Unlike those shorter routes, those shorter breaking routes or corners, whatever, like 10, 15 yard routes versus man, it's about impossible to stop him. Unless of course you have like 99 man and 99 press, 99 speed, 99 acceleration. You have like a super beastly corner like that. And then also you add one step ahead because you're probably gonna need it. Once again, Darren Waller, that route just continues to get open versus me. So this may be the final play of the game and Clowney getting in the backfield, wow. So final play of the game there, we did get into the backfield with Javon Clowney. Clowney definitely impressed Drew Brees. I had a great game, 16 for 18 uh, rushing wise. We didn't really run the ball that much, but Julio nine for 183 and three touchdowns. I like the card a lot. He's an absolute stud and defensively, I mean, Clowney, it only shows him having, you know, no sacks and a tackle for loss. But you guys saw, he basically caused an interception and definitely was able to cause a little bit of mayhem back there. Love both of these cards. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Happy Easter. I'll see you guys next time.